Hey everybody, we are Legal Help Live. Ralph here, Steve there. How's everybody doing out there? Because we are ready for your questions when you call us at 1-800-405-4222. That's how you get in to ask a legal question on Legal Help Live. And uh, what's going on, Steve? Well, we can talk about your business problems, your real estate problems, if you have a will problem, if you've had an unfortunate death in the family and you think someone's liable for it, commonly known as wrongful death, we can talk about that. Uh, if you live in an apartment house and somebody's trying to evict you, we can talk about that. Uh, if you haven't paid your taxes, what are your penalties? Uh, we can talk about that. We can talk about immigration. We can talk about whether you have a green card or not. We can talk about what happens when you get arrested by the police and you're not legally here in the United States of America. We can talk about what's going around in the United States on the law. We can talk about class actions. We can talk about traffic tickets. We can talk about malpractice cases against doctors, dentists, lawyers, embalmers, uh, yes, real estate brokers. True, all true. Mort everybody, uh, just about everybody who has a professional license, Mortician. has to reach a certain level of of a standard of care. We can talk, uh, or they could possibly be sued for malpractice. We can talk about suing the federal government, the state government, the local government, the city government, the mosquito abatement district, the school district. Vector control, uh, we, animal control. We can talk about if you're a public employee, can they put you on furlough? Can they reduce your pension after serving 25 years for a city in Agoura or Santa Monica or Bell Gardens or Bell, California, which is kind of an interesting situation. Yes. Yep, the number yep, is 1-800-405-4222. And the guy in the striped suit who thinks he's probably in jail is Ralph, the guy in the dark striped shirt who knows he's not in jail is Steve. <laughs> We're both lawyers here in Southern California. We're here to try and help your problems and... Uh, the best time to call in is probably right now. Yeah, probably right now. And you know, somebody did that, so wow. let's go to the phones. Come on in and talk to us. Is that Hello. Beverly out there? Beverly. Hello? Beverly, how are you? Where are you calling um, from? I'm doing okay. My uncle's not doing so well. I had a question about, well, on his behalf, and I was wondering if you guys could help. Sure. Let's, let's try. Um, well, well, my uncle, uh, he, well, we, my whole family has been going to the same dentist for, I mean, as long as I've been alive, and he retired this year. So my uncle found a new one just, you know, on the Internet, uh, wasn't recommended, but, I mean, I mean, he wasn't recommended to him by anybody. He just found him, and he went to this dentist because, I mean, the reason he needed to go was the filling fell out. It was really simple. Like, he just needed it, you know, fixed. That, that so happens to everybody. There, everything was fine, and then two months later, which was just last week, he went to another dentist because, you know, something was wrong. He just, you know, he felt like something was wrong. So he went to another dentist, and uh, the dentist told him that he has to have three of his teeth pulled because oh. of something that the other dentist did. The really? The dentist was positive. It was because of that first visit, and one of them is he, one of his front teeth. Oh. He doesn't have great coverage, so it's not like he can get him fixed. And now he's just going to be missing three teeth. And I was wondering if he knew anything that we could do or any way I could help him. Well, first of all, the... the, the Medical professionals are governed uh, by uh, a statute that applies to uh, medical professionals, and a dentist is one of them. So a dentist is liable, assuming he acted or she acted be below the standard of care. So you have a witness, another dentist, an expert, who it sounds like may well testify that what the first dentist was wrong. Uh, so if that's correct, you, you have a basis for a malpractice suit. What, what that means is you're going to end up, you have to, you have to send a letter to the uh, dentist uh, 90 days before you're going to sue him, advise him of what the problems are. That probably should be done by a lawyer. Uh, and thereafter, you can then sue, assuming you sue within the statute of limitations. The limitations of this uh, medical statute for damages is for pain and suffering. Now, most people do not like to go to dentists. I mean, I... I'm one of them. I mean, I, I, I break out in the sweats when I'm within three miles of my wonderful dentist office. Two miles, I'm <laughs> dripping wet. Uh, I mean, I'm crying like a baby when I walk in there, and I'm sitting there going, no, no, just tell me I don't need anything. I don't need x-rays. You're just here to tell me I'm a good person. Well, mo uh, there are lots of people who are like that. I mean, we're all dental chickens, I guess. So um, for whatever pain and suffering... Uh, your uh, uncle had, the maximum he could recover is $250,000 for pain and suffering. He can also recover 
for what it costs to repair the damage, which would be uh, the front teeth, the back teeth, whatever, what's ever necessary, and then any, any kind of lost wages he may lose. Like if he's a salesman and he can't make sales because his front teeth are out, he's losing income, or he shows up at the door and people are laughing at him and, he, and he's in kind of some, some kind of sales and he doesn't make money. But there is a suit here. And I think you ought to take uh, your Uncle Sam uh, to an attorney. Uncle Sam. Yes. Tax time. Yes, yes. Um, Great job, Stephen. And, uh, and, and have a lawyer take a look at the, the dental records, talk to the uh, other dentists, and then decide whether or not it's economically viable for your uncle to file suit and whether a lawyer will take it or not. Is there a specific kind of lawyer that I need to go to? It, it's there, there are lawyers who do many, many uh, dental malpractice cases. In fact, I, I know of, uh, in our, in our uh, history of practicing law, I know of some dentists who also have law degrees, and that's, how, and that's what their I mean, practice I mean, is. Doctor and dental D- Dentists who also have law degrees. Okay. All right. And, they, and they, their practice is suing or defending dentist. So yes, there are lawyers out there who do just about nothing but that. And then there are a lot of fine lawyers that do uh, medical and dental and other kind of medical professional malpractice and they're excellent too. Uh, If you have any difficulty, uh, you can call the LA County Bar Association. Uh, You're in Culver City. There's also the Culver City Bar Association and they may give you a reference. The LA County Bar will give you uh, two or three people in your area. Uh, and those are good ways to go. Sometimes a good way to go is also go to Google and see what kind of lawyers put up uh, attorneys' dental malpractice, and you can see uh, what kind of lawyers show up. Uh, it's not an area of specialization by the state bar, but you know, lots of things get written about it. So there are lots of ways to find a lawyer in this area. Okay, well, awesome. Okay, Beverly. But uh, tell your tell your uncle we're sorry for him, and uh, he should. He needs to get his feet, his teeth fixed. He needs to probably make see a lawyer, and you need to do it right away. Yeah, sooner rather than later, like tomorrow or the next day at the latest. And, you know, the pain... You I will. Know, I'll call as soon as I'm off with you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Okay, wow. thanks, Beverly. Thanks for calling Legal Help Live. Well, the pain of dent, dental problems, and, and and you go to someone and hope they're going to make it better. Now, there are no guarantors... That was a pretty simple thing, too. I mean, the well, guy's well, who knows? billing comes out, and the next thing he knows well, is Well, but it may well teeth. be that... Filling comes out, there is cavity in the filling, they x-ray the area, they see that there's wisdom teeth impacted, he starts to have pain with the wisdom teeth, yes. he goes to the next dentist, right. and uh, it may not have been the dentist's fault at all, you Except don't know. Except the, the second dentist said it, he thought it was the first dentist's well, fault. So, I mean, that, that, that's a big, that could be a big part of the case. There's, also, there's a lot between what's, what we're hearing now and what may really have happened. There Probably x-rays taken. Right. Uh, there's probably... And then there was that fall he took and he hit his...